Good morning, students. All right, it is Tuesday morning. This is going to be your second day at school of virtual learning. I know yesterday was rough. Yesterday did not go as everybody was hoping it would. I know there were a lot of technical difficulties, um, but today hopefully will be a lot better. We're going to go a lot slower. We're going to just practice some things on our Chromebooks. I want to make sure that everybody can confidently complete um, the simple tasks that we need to be able to complete in order to have our virtual learning experience be successful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you a Chromebook. It's the exact same kind of Chromebook that you use at home. And I'm going to show you how to do a few things on your Chromebook. Okay, I want to make sure that everybody can find certain things. I want to make sure that everybody can complete certain tasks. So today's going to go slow. You're going to use this video as your lesson for today. Feel free to pause the video. Feel free to rewind the video. Rewatch something. Re-listen to what I'm saying. Okay, I want you to be able to confidently do the things on your Chromebook that you need to be able to do in order for your learning experience at home to not be stressful. Nobody wants stress in their life, right? Makes our hair turn gray. You want to have a teacher with all gray hair? I don't know. So I'm going to flip the camera around. All right, so here's your Chromebook, right? This looks just like your Chromebook. I need you to be able to do two things very easily. Open up Teams and open up Canvas. So when you click on your little Chrome button at the bottom, your little green, red, and yellow guy, it's going to open up your Google page. You have two bookmarks up here at the top, Microsoft Teams, you click on it, it should take you to a page that looks like this. You've signed in before, so when you click on it, it should automatically sign you in. If you don't know what your login is, look on the piece of paper that is taped to your Chromebook. Now when you are logged in, you should see Mrs. Himmel's virtual homeroom. That's where we're going to start with our meetings. Okay. If, we need, if you need to join a meeting with me, that's where you're going to join. Now, if there is a meeting that is currently available for you to join, you're going to see that right down here. So let me go ahead and show you what it'll look like if there is a meeting that is available for you to join. So when you can join a meeting, you will see right just like this meeting now okay so when you see meeting now you're gonna click the join button and that's gonna join you to our canvas or to our teams meeting okay so that's how you join our meeting every day should be very easy that's just that nice purple button at the bottom okay so hmm. once you have joined our teams meeting you go ahead and close this you're going to have your Teams meeting open in a tab, right? What's a tab? Well, a tab is this thing right up here at the top of your screen. This is one of your tabs, okay? Now, Teams, when you opened up Teams, it opened a second t tab in order to open up your Teams meeting. So right now, you have two tabs open. Here's one that says Chat Meetings, Calling, Collaboration, and then here's one that says General Mrs. Himmel's Virtual. You have two tabs currently open. Another tab that you're going to want to be able to open when is Canvas. When you want to open another tab, you click on this little um, X, the little plus sign right here, and it opens a new tab. Now, in order to go to Canvas, you're going to click on your bookmark at the top. This Canvas bookmark right here says KCS Canvas. You have to be going to the Knox County Canvas. You cannot just Google Canvas. Let me show you what happens. If I just Google Canvas and I click on that first option that says login, canvas.net, you're going to come to a page that looks like this. This is Canvas, but this is not our Canvas. So you have to make sure that you're using that tab that 
right here that says KCS Canvas, or if you don't see this, if you can't find that, if you click over here all the way to the left where it says student.knoxville.org bookmarks, there is a Canvas bookmark here as well. So when you go to our Canvas, it should take you, since you've, if you've logged in before, it should take you to your dashboard that looks like this. This is called your dashboard. You can click on courses and it'll bring up a list of your courses, but when you click on dashboard, it's going to show you little boxes for each of your courses and it's a little bit more easily visually um, usable. So our Canvas page that we are going to use is our fourth grade Canvas page. That's our homeroom. All right. So when you go to our homeroom, it's going to look like this. All right. Now, there is another video on our home page that gives you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use our Canvas. It's how to Teams in Canvas. That's right here. I'm going to have you watch that as well if you still have questions about our Canvas page. And I'm actually going to that's going to be part of um, an assignment that you do today. OK, but you can scroll down our Canvas page and you've got all of these different options. Now, something that I was talking about yesterday was being able to have your two tabs in two different windows. Now, I want to show you how to do that because it's very important that you can do that. All right. So I said that right now you have two tabs right here, one for Teams and one for Canvas. Every morning, I want you to open up a tab for Teams and open up a tab for Canvas. And then what I want you to do, let me show you my fingers. I am clicking on the tab, okay? And then I'm using my other finger here, one other finger, and I'm going to drag this down away from the bar that it was in. And then I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna push it up into the right-hand corner of the page. When you do that, when you take your mouse cursor all the way over to that right-hand corner, it automatically sizes it to be half of your page, okay? Now, you can grab the bar or you can grab the, the tab of this guy, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to kind of take it down first because that takes it out of the bar that it's in, and then you're going to push it up. Oh, let me take it down, and you're going to take it all the way to the side. Let's try that one more time. Push it to the side, see, to the side of the screen. Like I'm trying to push it off the left side of the screen, and it's going to make it exactly half the size. Now, this window that still has the sign in for Teams, we can just close that by clicking on the X. And we now have our two windows that are each half of the screen. Now, you can make one less, that less than half if you want, because if you see, when you put your cursor right in the middle of the two windows, it has a double-sided arrow. We can take that, make that one smaller or bigger, or make this one over here smaller or bigger. And you can have them be whatever size you need, okay? But you need to be able to have two windows open, the Teams window and the Canvas window, so that you can see both at the same time. That way you can have your video of me over here, you can see, and you can still access your Canvas page over here. Now yesterday, if you remember, one of the things I was asking you to look for was not easy to find unless this Canvas page was a little bit bigger. So when that happens, you just can drag it a little bit bigger for the moment until you're able to find what it is that you need, okay? Such as our to-dos, and then you can just drag it smaller again, okay? You can resize your windows. You need to be able to resize your windows easily. If it is hard for you to do the mouse of clicking,
Okay. All right. So hopefully you practiced dragging your screens to make two equally sized windows and you played around with that and you can do that now. Here's your next assignment or maybe your first real assignment. Okay. This is going to take paper and pencil. So get out your notebook and I have 10 scavenger hunt items for you to find on our canvas page. So you have to have our canvas homeroom open and these are the 10 things that I want you to find. So you're probably going to want to pause the video once I show you the things that we're going to find so that you can write them down on your notebook. Okay, so here they are. Hold on just a moment. Okay, so there are 10 things that you need to find on our scavenger hunt, okay? So number one, you need to find what does our virtual classroom guidelines say about chatting? So you need to find our virtual classroom guidelines on our Canvas page. You need to read it and you need to write down for number one, what does our virtual classroom guidelines say about chatting? That's going to be your answer to your scavenger hunt question number one. So you're going to write that down number one, and you're going to write your answer to what does our virtual classroom guidelines say about chatting? What is the answer to that question? Right, number two, when you read our very important tips, that's one of the documents that's on our Canvas page, when you read those very important tips, what is the third tip? Okay, what is the third tip? Number three, when you watch the video called How to Turn on Voice to Text on Your Chromebook, who is giving you the instructions? So when you watch that video, who is it that's giving you those instructions? Number four, where do you find the emotional emoji check-in? Okay, where do you find that? Number five, whose birthday is on the 5th of September? Whose birthday is that on the 5th of September, according to our calendar? Number six, what color is my shirt in the introduction video? What color is my shirt? Number seven, when you watch the How to Teams and Canvas video, and I introduce myself to you, how many children do I say I have, and how many are girls, and how many are boys? You gotta watch that video. Number eight, when you are looking at my virtual office, what is under my chair? What is under my chair? According to the class schedule, when does special areas start? And number 10, what is the class dojo uh, reward that you can buy for 15 points? Okay, so I want you to write down the answers to all of these questions on a piece of paper. And then we're going to go over the answers. And for every answer that you get right, you're going to get a class dojo point. Okay, so this is 10 class dojo points that you could earn by completing this scavenger hunt. All right, good luck.